Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make your stock Android uh, look like Samsung Galaxy 6 or 7. Here I have a Lenovo A3228, pretty much that's the look. So let me go ahead and show you uh, that, I, that it is an Android 4.4.2, as you can see here. KitKat. Android 4.4.2, as you can see, still. And yeah, the game is this. So, yeah. So, what you need to do is pretty much to go to Play Store and go search for Nova Launcher. After you do that, open it here and download it and so you're gonna need to download one more app two more apps my dad um the one is the it does with icon pack which is the first one over here you can actually also use this one which is the n5v and which is an application i was using all in older times but well, it doesn't really give you all the icons but actually Okay, but I just prefer the touch with icon pack, okay? So, the third and last app you're gonna need to download is the app for the widgets. So, tap on search for X widget. And here you got it, the first app over there. You can, this helps you add, this, thus, this allows you add widgets, as you can see here, a lot of stuff, download widgets and, and do them, and apply them. So, pretty much download it. And after you download these three, app, these three apps, go home and make a novel answer, your stock answer. You know how to do that. Tap on home, tap on novel answer, tap on always. I already ha I have already done it. Um, but anyway, you will you didn't know how to do it anyways. So yeah. So next thing you're gonna need to do, of course, you won't have this one over here. What you gotta do then is go to Nova settings. And go to the look and feel and tap on it and up on touch with icons. And after that, go to your desktop, go to desktop grid, and it should be on you to 4x5. 5, 4x5, five, no, that's it. But this is not the right thing. It's 4x4, four four what you need. So go to the icon layout after that. And make it 120. And come here down to the label and make it condensed. Condensed, so it looks like the S6 uh, label, you know. So I go to app and widget drawers, go to drawer upgrade, and it will be again 5x4, make it 4x4. Four four. And yeah, make it a portrait over there, icon layout. And it's 120, and the, side, uh, the label condensed as before. This will be vertical, some might be vertical, but you will make it horizontal. Now, if you come here, this card background will be ticked. And what is the card background? I'm showing, I will show you. It's this, which is the Android Lollipop characteristic, and you don't want that. So, you go back to the settings, to the widget, and afterwards, and untick the card background. So, next thing you're gonna need to do is go to dock. Go to dock, uh, dock, sorry, dock icons, and it will be five, and it will actually look like that. But you, um, you're gonna make them back to targets as I just before. You're gonna make them four icons, and go to icon layout, and. It will be maybe 100, so make it 120 as before, and make the uh, the label here condensed, condense. So yeah, go back. And now that's all you gotta do. Now go home. But once you go home, it shouldn't look like that, cause that's why that's how I have made. So you can put here the email that I have put it. Here the camera. Here Play Store. Here it's a folder. Now you might not know it because I know it looks like music, right? So 
there is an extra feature that allows you to do something that allows you to have a secret folder. If I tap on it, you will see it's not a folder, it just opens the music, right? So, but if I do that, if I tap on it, come on it, and tap off, here I got a secret folder. So, yeah, that's kind of awesome. Let me show you how to do that. Go to hold this, up on edit, and here you got the swipe to open folder. Don't do that. Maybe it wouldn't be in you because I have the prime version, but anyway, it it's not in it and it's not um, an SX feature, so I'm not gonna put it now. Because I want you guys to, I want to show you exactly how does it look like. So yeah, next thing you're gonna need to do is go to X widget. And pretty much go to the online, which is gonna bring you here actually on its own. And you're gonna scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Come on, till you find these three widgets. What you're gonna need to download is this thingy over here. You gotta download widget. I have it already downloaded, so I'm not gonna download it. So after that, if you go to local, you can see I have both three downloaded and one other that I don't want. So delete it. Yes. So I have this three. You can edit widgets, make them as you want, colors and stuff. But no, no, I'm not gonna do that. So once you do that, go here and hold, hold, click the screen, tap on widgets. And scroll down. It, it might be down for you, but for me it's right and left. So till you find the 4x4 widget, uh, the 4x4 X widget. So create, tap on create and tap on this. And there it goes. You got it. So pretty much that's how it looks like. And that's the animations and stuff. So yeah, that there's nothing more to show you. So yeah, pretty much that's what I had to. I wanted to show you guys. And that's uh, how you make your stock Android look like Samsung Galaxy S7 or S6. I want to show you actually one last feature of the Nova launcher, which is not. Samsung S7 feature, but anyway, go to gestures and inputs. You can have you have here some gestures. For example, I've done the one I put when I oh no, it's just you can when I swipe up. For example, I had put Clash of Clans. Swipe up, and when I swipe down, I will have Clash Royale. So what this does is when you swipe up, wait, you're brought to Clash of Clans. Let me show you. See? Yes. So when you swipe down, it will bring you to Clash Royal. So here you see it. So yeah, that's the extra feature that the Novel Answer has. But it's not a feature we need, so you're not going to actually have it. You're not going to actually need to have it. So, yeah. That was, guys, what, what I wanted to show you. I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like. And don't forget to subscribe for some more daily tutorials. And anything you want to ask me, post it in the comment section below. And, yeah. See you guys next time.